Hello, I'm going to introduce to you Mendeley, which is the most incredible software for citing your work. Now, quite often you're writing an essay in Microsoft Word and you want to cite something. So we've got a journal paper just here. Maybe I could look on this page. Does it have citation? No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I can copy that title, go to somewhere like Google Scholar, type it in. And I've got a citation here. Okay, I could copy and paste this. Then I could go back into Word and I can write something clever. Create a reference to this. I can paste that in. Um, I can copy this and I could say al 2024. I can do all this stuff and this works. It's fine. But what if I then delete that sentence? I've still got the reference there. I've got to go and update it. Or what if the formatting of this isn't quite right? I've got to manually go and do things. It's a lot of work. When you're doing dissertation, that's a nightmare. So I'm going to solve that for you. We've got Mendeley. You can see it on the right hand side here. Mendeley is reference management software. It is incredible. I've been using it since 2000 and oh, 2009, 2011, I think it was. A long, long time. I love it. So you can go to um, website mendeley.com and you can download all the plugins. I'm not going to show you that today. That's another another video. But um, download it, install it to Word, and I'll show you how it works. So we have our library here, and you know each of these records. And I'm just going to pop here. You can see we've got the title, we've got the author, we've got other information about pages and issues. You know all this information about it as long as you fill this in that's the hard work done now to show you how easy it is to fill it in now we could say enter manually and we can type everything in that is an option or maybe we just go to the journal paper we've got copy the doi just that one there paste it into here press search and there we are everything's done so i'm just now going to Try and get my Max play hey for nicely. Add entry. And it's now in here. So I'm just going to sync to the cloud, which should be automatic. Um, so it's now there. I go into Word. Now I'm just going to um, update the library. I'm going to remove that bit there. So I've got my um, things uh, straight away. Top of the, the area right here. Will people prefer future travel with battery powered airplanes? I added that a second ago. That's the same journal paper. It's ready to rock. So I'm going to write, yes, people will, zoom in a bit more, use batteries. Okay, that's that's a very intelligent sentence. Misspelled, but never mind. Um, so I'm just going to, it's already selected. Select, insert one citation, and bang, there it is, right in my text. I didn't have to write anything. Go to references, say um, insert bibliography, and give it a second. Bang, there we are. That's in the format. What format is it? It's the APA 7th. Oh no, that's wrong. I want to use Harvard. That's okay. Change citation style. Um, I'm going to choose Elsevier Harvard 2. I'm going to do my writing with. And there we are. Maybe it's Elsevier Harvard we could want to use. There we are. That's all really good. Um, and if you were writing for a journal paper and the journal wants you to use something like IEEE, you select that and bang, IEEE format, nice and easy. But for me, I'm using Harvard. Um, so there we are. Now I'm going to write something else here. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever that is, okay. Um, references, I'm going to chuck in this one insert a sleep citation and oh look it's at the bottom again automatically thrown into there but i'm now going to remove that and just go to the right here and look automatically it's removed it from the bottom now what about having a quote um someone said i love mendeley okay so who said that? I'm going to say it's, uh, oh, I'm going to search the person. I'm going to say Parker, me. 
And me last, not recently read, all references. Parker 2023. Okay, here's um, here's a paper I published last year. So I'm going to in click on this here. I'm going to give it a page number. I'm going to say it's page 45, 42. Um, keep it like that format. Click OK, insert. And we've got the correct way of writing the author with the page number and the authors automatically at the end. So Mendeley does all the hard work for you. You don't need to know how to reference. You just need to make sure that your work is added into Mendeley in the right areas. Obviously, get the title wrong, get the author wrong, write the year wrong, then your reference is wrong. But if you can do that, then you can have perfect referencing every time with no hassle. It's absolutely wonderful. If you're doing a dissertation or report or something with lots of work, you need Mendeley to make your life easy and make your referencing perfect. It's easy. You should be doing it. What else can we do? Well, go into Mendeley. Um, I've been using this for a very long time, we said. Uh, the oldest file in here is 2011. That, so that's the first thing, an integrated model of tourist information search behavior. So that's 13 years of using Mendeley. So I can't remember what's in here. There's thousands of journal papers. Look at all of them, thousands there. So I'm gonna search for my favorite um, reference, which is BBC News. I think it's 2003 is the year. So um, let's try BBC 2003. I can't even remember. Um, News.bbc, is it there? So I'm gonna try 2003. Let's try BBC News. Find that one. Right, here's all the BBC News. And what's the earliest year? Here we are. Can technology shares bounce back? Why do I love this one? Because it talks about, should we abandon online shopping? Mm. The answer is clearly no. You can see it's an old website and um, <laughs> this article proved completely wrong. So, you know, it shows. I couldn't remember the title. I couldn't remember these things, but I knew roughly what it's about. I searched, I found it. And now if I'm um, searching for something, maybe I go here and I copy the title, go into my Word document, um, my favorite reference. Let's just paste the title in there. Actually, I could even search for it in there, but hey, do that. Insert. There we are. Nice. Gil Martin's added. Perfect referencing every time. Perfect searching for references. So you read something today, next month you need it, you can search it and you can find it. What more can we do? Lots of things. You can add PDFs to this. Now, um, here is a file. Okay, it's, a, oh, it's an old file, so it's not supported. But you can add PDFs. You know, I'm sure we can find um, a file here with, that's HTML. Um, right, so I haven't actually got many in here because I haven't done it. But you can add PDFs to this. You can search onto them. You can put your notes in there. If I write here, is... Smart Meter Project is delayed from the BBC 2023. You can read it. Um, we can add notes to here. We can tag it. We can add it to collections on the side. So many things you can do. Mendeley is really simple. You can do so many things. It will make your referencing perfect. It will make your life easier. Just download Mendeley today and use it. Thank you.